We begin this morning with that partial building collapse in the Bronx. We now know 173 people are impacted and their temporary housing vouchers run out by Friday. The demolition process set to begin today. Elijah Westbrook is live in the Morris Heights section with an exclusive interview with the landlord that you'll only see here on CBS2. Elijah. That's right. Well, Chris and Mary, we spoke exclusively with that landlord right here on the street last night, asking him about those crumbling conditions and hundreds of open violations. I have to say, he didn't really seem to offer much, but let's go ahead and watch this interaction play out between him and our very own Ali Bauman before he runs off. What do you say to the residents here whose homes are destroyed? Thank God everyone is safe, and hopefully everybody except for those that six apartments will be restored as soon as possible. Why weren't repairs being made? There are over 100 violations. Who is in charge of making these repairs here? They don't belong over here. Well, the self-identified landlord you saw there dodging our questions before driving off in his Audi. However, he did say before pulling off that most of the work was done. Now, all of this happening as dozens of frustrated tenants waited outside in the cold last night, right in front of their collapsed building to get answers about when they could retrieve their stuff. We know more than 170 residents are displaced, including 44 children who cannot return to their homes because they're deemed unsafe. The Red Cross, however, is putting them in emergency shelters until Friday. Now, those who we caught up with sent us photos like this here of the hard conditions inside their apartments months prior to the incident, but they say nothing was ever done to fix it. It's their fault that now we don't have a place safe to, to be on Christmas. You know. I am angry. Imagine we don't pay $100. We don't pay $10 of rent. The rent over here is mostly like 2000 and up. And right now you're getting a look at some of the construction vehicles parked here on the street ahead of partial demolition work. That's expected to start at some point this morning. Of course, we'll be standing by for that, but that is the very latest here in the Morris Heights section of the Bronx. I'm Elijah Westbrook, CBS2 News. Elijah, thank you.